amphibious animals, or animals that live in the land and also on the water. So here we have a picture of the River Nile in Egypt. There's some hammocks between the palm trees. People sleep in the hammocks. And here's the River Nile. Here's a big palm tree. So the crocodile, number one, you can see he's got his big long jaw like that. The crocodile is a cruel beast of prey. It eats other animals and it lives in the River Nile and also you find them in Africa, in other parts of Africa. We have a beaver here. A beaver has got feet that are like a goose, in other words, it's got webs between its toes because it swims. And it's got a tail which is very scaly, so it swims. We have an otter. Here's an otter, number three. And the otter eats fish and lives near the water. It doesn't live in the water all the time, but it spends a lot of time in the water. We have a croaking frog. The noise a frog makes is it croaks. And we have a toad, which looks very much like a frog as well. We have a tortoise. Here he is. He's got a shell on the back and his legs. And when he's scared, he tucks himself into his shell. And he's covered on the top and underneath with a shell. In this picture, we have river fish and pond fish. So these are freshwater fish. Now a fish has got fins. Here they have fins. You see, they use these fins on the sides to swim with. These are the fins on the fish. And it has gills. These are the gills here. I'm pointing at them. These are the gills. And it uses the gills to breathe with under the water. And it's got prickles, um, spines instead of bones. We call them fish bones, but they're very small, sharp little things. The male inside has got milt, which are its eggs, and the female has got roe, which are its eggs. Um, some of them have got scales, like a carp. Here's a carp. It's got scales and fins. And also a luke or a pikefish. A pikefish, which is a predator fish. It eats other fish. Um, you can see it's got quite a sharp body here. That also has got fins and scales. Some are very smooth, like an eel. Here's an eel. right? It doesn't have scales. It's smooth. And a lamprey here. Also smooth, doesn't have scales. The sturgeon, you'll find him here, he's got a very long, sharp snout. And it can grow longer than the length of a man. The sheath fish, that's number eight, here he is, right, has got very, very broad cheeks. And it's even bigger than a sturgeon. It's called a huso, and a huso lives in the river Danube. And a, a huso fish, when it's full grown, is bigger than I am. Much bigger. They're huge. I wouldn't be able to pick one up. Minnows, you find them here, are very small fish, and they swim in shoals. A shoal of fish is a whole lot of fish swimming together. And other kinds of fish like this, um, they look all a bit like this, are uh, trout, and barbel, perch, tench. Here we have a crab, a crab fish, and there are different kinds of these. They're lobsters and they're crabs and they're crayfish and crawfish. Right? They're covered in a shell on the outside and they have got claws and they can swim forwards and they can swim backwards. And here, number 13, is a horse leech um, and a horse leech sucks blood. So if you go swimming in a river where there are leeches, they will attach themselves to you and start to suck your blood. In this picture, we have um, fish that live in the sea, marine fish, sea fish. The whale, here's a huge whale. You can see he's blowing out of his blowhole. Right? A whale is the biggest of all of the marine creatures. Right? It's not really a fish, it's a mammal. And the dolphin, here's a dolphin. It's a, dolphins are often drawn like this in old-fashioned pictures. And if you ever walk down by the River Thames and you look at the lampposts along the River Thames, you'll see that they have dolphins 
that are like this type of dolphin picture on the lampposts. So the dolphin is very, very swift, very fast. A skate, here he is, you see he's got a flat body like that with a tail, is the most monstrous of all the fish. It looks very strange. Then we have a lamprey, which is like a kind of eel, but it lives in the sea. And we have number five, salmon. Yeah. Right, there are also fish that can fly. Here's a flying fish. Now it spends most of its time in the water, but when it's being chased by animals that want to eat it, it will jump up in the air and fly for a short distance to try escape. It's a flying fish. It's got very long fins. They're not really wings. Then we have herrings. And herrings are small little fish. Um, there they are. There's a herring. And these are often bought pickled and salted. And we have codfish. Here's a codfish here. And these are often bought, codfish is often bought dry and salted. Then we have things that are sea monsters. We have a seal. Here's a seal sitting on a rock by the side of a sea. It's got flippers and a tail and very friendly eyes and whiskers. Then we have some shellfish over here. We have an oyster. There's an oyster. Oysters have got very tasty meat, tasty flesh inside. Um, they're not kosher, but people like eating them. And then we have a purple fish, number 13, a whelk. And this gives the purple color that was used in ancient times to make the dye techelet. And also the color that was used to dye the color purple in the emperor's robes in the Roman Empire. And then we have here a special kind of um, oysters which give, um, they're called pearl oysters, and inside them grow pearls which are used for jewellery.